in a relatively recent news conference, the Vice President of the United States had to articulate to people down below Americans' border to not come here. And yet there are still hundreds of thousands of people who stand outside the United States border near Mexico expecting that their entitlement thinking will get them through our border patrol. The problem I have with this is that when my faithful friends came to visit, came to work, came to study, came to do anything but be a royal jerk, although my son was just like that, I can tell you that it was difficult to do things without reading all the legalities and what I feel is that these people have slipped through our borders, stolen our wives, killed our children, and openly don't ever care who they harm, who they steal from, and what they do here. Every morning I watch a stupid ass Mexican or Honduran doing his garbage truck work which I presume he's being paid for, or is it just an illusion to get him closer to his plan of stealing a man's life and beginning again? What I see him doing is barely brushing a parking lot to pick up the trash. What I observe him never doing is picking up the full trash on the sidewalk in the cans. And what I see him doing this week after week, month after month, and his interest is over interest in me, but then he calls police and then he pretends that we're friends. I could just fuck him into the floor. My life is mine. Your life is yours. If you're going to be a lazy-ass Mexican coming over the border with virtually no English language skills, do not fucking play with my life with our community police. But don't you fucking teach these retail bastards like Michael that I won't put him in the morgue because of his lies to you and me. Do not teach that boy about public space and then tell him that he can stand anywhere the fuck he wants to regardless of what someone feels. When someone said to me, please leave me alone, I left immediately out of respect to her request, but she has destroyed a life with me.